Hi, it's Martin Chandler from uh, tech I'm the sales manager here and on my previous uh, blog I said that I would be covering contracts, photocopier contracts. Now a bit about, bit about me and my uh, background, I've been in the industry nearly 30 years and during that time uh, I've enjoyed the industry, it's been good to me, good to, me, to the companies that I work for and to my family. Unfortunately like any industry you have the bad apples. And I thought it was about time that somebody stood up and actually helped the customer to highlight some of the areas they should be looking at when looking at photocopier contracts. I've actually got a, a quotation here and as you can clearly see I've blanked out the top and the bottom so I'm removing the company name and I'm removing the, the customer name as well just for confidentiality and the data protection. But the core of the quotation is still there for everybody to see. Now I've come across numerous quotes like this over the, the recent years uh, and the reason that I brought it to your attention is because when you're looking at a photocopier contract you need to understand the pitfalls and if we have a look at this contract on face value it looks fine. You can clearly see the salesman has put down your details as in how much you're paying for your photocopier, your volumes, uh, how much you're paying a cost per copy and totaling it up to give you a total cost of ownership over the quarter you're currently paying. All good, all above board, very factual. Moving down, his proposal goes into a bit more detail and says, obviously I've blanked out the type of photocopier, but it was a replacement for the one you've actually got and a second machine. And it's, it's an A3 machine, it copies, it prints, it scans uh, and it has mobile tablets etc. What the key point is, is these two figures here. Your quarterly spend at £1,470.74 against their proposal of £1,170. Well, automatically when you look at that you think, great, well I'm going to be saving £1,200 per year. Now, especially this year, which has been a difficult be, uh, year for businesses and schools, that type of saving can make a huge difference. So clearly, you would take the face value of this proposal and consider it. Unfortunately, the reality is you're not going to save £1,200 per year because you've got to look at it in a little bit more detail. It's the wording. The new print solution will provide you with two state-of-the-art devices with increased features and benefits and save the school in excess of £1,200. We will provide your mono copies and your colour copies at your current usage. The key to that is your current usage at the present moment is 43,000 mono copies and 15,000 colour. When you actually get the contracts and you're at the point of signing those contracts, the lease is fine, it's going to be £1,170 per quarter. Unfortunately, you haven't got the copies included, and here lies the problem. You'll never notice that you're going to get any excess bills until two or three years into the contract, and then suddenly, the £15,000 a quarter you thought you had, you've only got it for two years. It's all in the detail of the contract that you sign. People trust people on face value, they trust the quote, but the quote isn't a legal document, the contracts are. I've come across numerous occasions where I've gone in to see a customer, they think they've got all their copies included, there's going to be no excess bills, and suddenly year two or year three they suddenly get a bill. I've had an example where uh, schools had a £9,000 bill. I've had a business with over £10,000 bill per quarter added on to their costs. Obviously, on this occasion, the difference between the two figures is where you're suddenly going to get an increase in your costs. And then you're scrabbling around looking for the contracts. You're scrabbling around for the quotes and the emails to go back track. But unfortunately, the situation is this isn't worth the paper it's written on. And some other glaringly obvious signs. When you look at the quote, that's the company name, but
but it's not actually addressed from anybody or it's not addressed anybody in your school or your business so it's not personalized and at the bottom it's not signed by anybody it doesn't say kind regards Martin Chandler my names to it there is no signature so therefore you've got nobody to go back to it's just a piece of paper so these are the key areas that schools and businesses need to be aware of a quote only as good as the following paperwork now these examples there are dozens and dozens and dozens there's actually a case at the present moment in a crown court in England where the individuals concerned are being prosecuted for mis-selling contracts it's fraud by misrepresentation you are representing one thing but actually implementing a second and that's the one you sign so it's a serious matter and the industry need to face up to it and the customers need to be more aware deal with somebody you trust deal with somebody local deal with take up references speak to other users not that have only just got the equipment within the last year but ask for ones that have been dealing with the company for four or five years where that trust has been built up and you will avoid these pitfalls thank you